Hello everybody, Gunner here with the team for Bart's Lost Chapter of Ophenia, and you'll be trying to bring Garland Mock and Amid Italian. I haven't properly cleared this yet because I used Sarah instead of uh, Mog, and I brought Mog because he can out damage her. Which I know sounds a, might sound a little bit backwards because she does have all the ores going on, but the thing is, Garland was kind of really held back by... Uh, basically the brave damage limits of the, his HP damage limit a lot So I don't think it'll make too big of a difference if I do bring in somebody who can just simply deal more damage per turn I mean a lot of this fight I imagine burst effects are going to be active So that's why I figured it wasn't too big of a deal And I'm gonna delete the one targeting Garland because I do not want anything bad happening to him Alright, and real quick, I'm going to drop the LD one of these. I'm going to save the base one for uh, when I call in Bart's because I won't be able to apply any other debuffs with the team since I plan on swapping out Amy. Alright, I will hit A with this. No confuse, that's alright. Okay, well that was unfortunate. And because Mug has a debuff, I can't get a chance to paralyze. Not paralyze, confuse. Okay, well, they're pretty much the same thing except a name only. Alright, again, I'm going to delete the one that is targeting Garland. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use Bart's Call now, just for the sake of maintaining the orb. And you use Round Edge. No EX. Alright, I want to give Garland some battery, so I'm going to do that again. I should probably stop using those so willy-nilly in the beginning. Alright, that's nice. Alright, the goal here is to drop them before the threshold, well, under the threshold before Amy's resurrection runs off. Well, even if that doesn't happen, it probably won't take too long. I just really need to focus, uh, A if that does happen. Gotta say, once that cow effect wears off, he will not be hitting that high. <laughs> He wasn't getting much past, like, 60k? Alright, it's targeting Garland. Oh, 
Oh, I need to use Monk Skill 1 or else he's going to lose that buff. Alright, nice confused, but that doesn't really mean a whole lot. Alright, yeah, I'll just go ahead and rip off that band-aid. So now they're going to cleanse themselves and give themselves a bunch of battery. B is going to cleanse itself once it drops below 80 again. But that's not super important. Um, I can't remember who was in front of what, but I don't think it really matters. Yeah, it's nice to see him still kind of hitting hard. Oh, that was good timing. Alright, which one of these has defense down? That one. I think Mog's EX is ready. I was debating on using Onion Knight Call right there. Okay, glad I did not use it back there. I think I'll just go ahead and use his LD now. So do I gotta bring in Bart's? No, well, not quite yet. Bart Ground has one more turn on his call. I will just keep the turn order the same. Alright, gonna use the free skill on the C65. Yeah, I can't remember the break order, so I'll just hit A. Garland is, I'm guessing, one turn away from using his... Wait, no, he's on his free skill from his LD. Yeah, that seems about right. Oh yeah, and the Bard's Call War off, so I'm just going to bring him in now. And immediate use of Burst. Alright, we're not... That's just something that happens sometimes. It's been happening a while. Where the weapons don't show up. Like, I think I remember it first happening during... I want to say Onion Knight, because I remember using him as a friend and that happened a lot. Actually, it might have been back when... 
ROMs that came out of the Zelda. Okay, I get the funny feeling Mog isn't charging his uh, skill in two turns, so I'm just gonna do this. That should give Garland some pretty decent battery. Alright, gonna use a free skill on jump, because I think that can deal more damage when it's a serial jump. Alright, um, uh, I don't quite need to use this LD yet, so I'm going to just use missile. Now he's at two stacks. I think I need to try and force that one under the threshold. Okay. And looks like it's gonna... Team's gonna have an easier time. Alright, Mog, please do this. Alright, I think it's gonna happen. Or not. Oh, geez, it's kind of suspenseful. 59, okay. Now I can use his LD. And now he's at three stacks. And I think it is... Gonna go ahead and use Garland's Burst now. Because I can't really think of a compelling reason as to not. Since they're pretty far away from any thresholds right now. And Bars can probably deal good damage while he's here. And if I can get them below 50, it'll be a little bit before they can... No, actually, I should save the Gabronth call for, um... I think the below 30 threshold. I have been absentmindedly doing this. Did I just waste round edge? I did. You know, I don't really think it matters, since there's just so many effects going on with Garland that he's probably going to be capping on his skill too either way. The only way... It would be a waste if they both came out of break at the same time. I think what I said is exactly going to happen. Alright, 189. I think that's comparable with damage when Sarah was here. And they cleanse themselves again. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to the Gabron's call for the last 30 because it's kind of unnecessary right now. Alright, let's see what Monk will do with his LD.
You know what? That honestly looks about the same as usual. Actually, no, I don't think I was really paying attention to the numbers. It's probably going to be a decent amount. Alright. Another LD. Should be Garland's EX, I think. Nope, not really close. Okay, well that was just great. Wow, I was not expecting him to deal 300k on a serial jump like that. Alright, and before Bartz goes, let's see what Garland does with this. Alright, yeah, also when they get to uh, the 30% threshold, I should note that they uh, do go into the thing independently of each other. Which means I can do what I did earlier and just like make one of them go both. Make one of them go below the threshold and then they'll just both cleanse themselves and give themselves the aura. They're gonna do it separately. Alright, and since I am here. Oh, Ultima. Alright, I'm gonna hit B with his LD. I mean A, whatever. Oh, that didn't actually do it. Alright, I'm gonna LD. I'll hit, it doesn't matter. Alright, oh yeah, and I don't got to worry about that anymore. I forgot. And speaking of things I don't got to worry about anymore, I can just use Crystal Idol here. There's a round edge here. Oh yeah, and this is what I meant by Garland is mainly held back by the uh, brave damage limit. Oh yeah, and I can apply this now. Because uh, I feel like this team is probably going to need it. Alright, free skill, so I'll use jump. Oh yeah, and a couple things. I really just should use this while the burst effect is up. And I think... I'm just gonna summon. And I am really hoping that a Garon ZX is ready or else this will kind of be a waste. I am so glad it was. All 
Alright, one more turn on the burst effect. I'm going to actually ignore that Amoogle Rush because I found out this has a higher damage potential than his EX somehow. Crazy how that works out. Um, same here with Mega Flare since it has just a lot of overflow. You know, I think Comet might have been better there. Oh well. How many? Alright, I got one. I'm not actually going to use it since I don't really think... It's going to cap even without the burst effect, so I'm just going to do that. Alright, and now I'm going to do this. Alright, this might be where things get kind of dicey because now I just got to kill them within the turn limit and I got to see if this team can actually do it. Oh yeah, thank you Tactics Armor. Not used to actually seeing that work. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I can just do that naturally. Oh, they're both getting a turn. Right, I do got that. And I really ought to use these. Oh no, I clogged up their debuffs. Okay, well, now I gotta think this carefully now. Alright. <laughs> So, yeah, I basically lose this if they get a turn now, so whoops. It's a daisy on my end. I need to focus one of them down. Alright, I should delete B's turn, because that one isn't going to be the one I'm focusing. Please break at the same time. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. Never mind. I think I think crisis averted. Definitely gonna hit A with the LD. Alright, let me go ahead and delete A's turn. Get that out of here. Okay. Crisis averted, I think. You know, I think I'll just leave eight of those two. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I think this is really in the bag now. Really can't believe that the deciding factor in this fight was switching uh, Sarah from uh, Mog for Sarah. This is like a 15 turn difference. Okay, you know what? I shouldn't get cocky here. I'm just going to hit this one with the serial jump. I mean, yeah, there's no guarantee that this will even kill it. Well, that works for me. I wonder if Amy will do it with this. Probably not. Okay, the, I think it's Garland's finish. Okay. Finally got it. <laughs> Can't believe Mog was a deciding fact here. I'm still surprised. And I got her Amber do party cleared. All right. Yeah, but that's it for this fight. I don't know what event is coming next. Is it Edward's last chapter, I think? I don't know if there's anything in between that. But I'll probably see you for that. I think I'm recording videos more regularly now. So goodbye for now.